Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Talk of the Town. I'm Olin Joynton, president of Alpena Community College. And I guess this morning, uh, Margie Hoxma, uh, well-known around town as co-owner of Benner Realty, but really here this morning in her capacity of being the sister of Ferris Worth. Welcome to the show, Margie. Thank you, Dr. Jarton. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. And uh, if you don't know who Ferris Worth is by now, <laughs> uh, you've probably been under a rock because uh, we uh, celebrated just yesterday the grand opening and ribbon cutting for the Ferris Worth Electrical Power Technology Center at Alpena Community College. And uh, it was uh, your brother's uh, generosity that really helped us to achieve this goal, as well as uh, yours, uh, but his in a really big way. Uh, uh, that, uh, so let me begin by thanking you and other members of the family and Ferris himself uh, for, for that wonderful uh, donation. Um, <clears throat> and uh, why don't you begin by telling the audience uh, who Ferris was, uh, what, what he was like, what he did in his life, Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. It's wonderful to be here. And um, to talk about my brother is really easy because I loved him and uh, admired and respected him, uh, as many other people have done in the community. He used to be, or he was like a resource for people uh, who wanted to know about investments and development and that they would come to him as an expert in the community to get his um, you know, his ideas about what their perspective, his perspective was, and whatever they were going to do as far as investing. So he was known for his acumen and uh, in expertise as a developer and also an investor. Very good. I'm sure he helped a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> what about his views on education? How did he come to take an interest in education and Alpena Community College in particular? Mm -hmm. Well, he was a graduate of up in high school here and after that he loved education so he had to commute back and forth to Mount Pleasant to Central Michigan University to get some of his education and I think he's always watched over to see what was going on at Alpena Community College and he was so pleased to see the different things that were happening see the things that you've done and created over the time you've been here since 2004 uh, Dr. Joynton and I think he had confidence in that and being a wise businessman he thought that whatever he did for the community as a way of saying thank you would be in good hands mm -hmm. and he was so right well, very, very good, and uh, I can't take the credit. Uh, my, uh, the previous presidents of the institution built it up. Uh, so as I sometimes say with Isaac Newton, uh, I stand on the shoulders of giants. And then the employees uh, of ACC and the trustees who lead us, uh, they deserve credit as well for, for our success. And so <clears throat> uh, for those of members of the audience who don't know, uh, what exactly uh, did uh, these considerations lead Ferris to do um, uh, by way of uh, showing beneficence towards the college? Well, I think that really what he did, he used seed money because obviously a million dollars doesn't equal five, which it cost to build this building. And so there was a lot of had, uh, ingenuity and planning and um, you know, sort of solicitation of funds to be able to come up with that. But as I was thinking about it, since my brother is a really good investor, he would have thought in six years with his million dollars and a, and a return of 400%, which would have been the five yes. million, was a really good investment, probably his best investment ever um, in dollars and cents and sticks and stones. But, but more than that, his probably his best investment in people and in our community, in the economy, I think he was a far-reaching visionary person who looked at the future to see what this could do if he planted a seed here. And obviously he was looking at generations to come to benefit worldwide and locally, of course. And I think it's going to do just that. The college has achieved his goal, his heartfelt goal, and um, he would have been more than pleased with what's gone on. Well, that's absolutely right. Uh, and so one of the uh, happiest days of my life on the job at ACC wow. was when I received a, a call from our legal counsel, Karen Bennett, and uh, who said to me, uh, uh, Olin, are you sitting down? And, and, uh, and then she brought me the good news of a million dollar uh, donation from Ferris Worth uh, for the purpose of uh, a, a building project like this one. He was also considerate to the college that it could either be a freestanding building 
uh, or an attachment to an existing building, which uh, mm -hmm. we, we ended up doing so that we have the concrete center and electrical power center side Perfect. by side, uh, premier uh, technical programs um, uh, at the college and, and really um, helping to seal our identity in, in these uh, uh, trades instructions areas. So uh, how, what, what, a, what a wonderful day that was and how much encouragement and leverage it, it gave us in mm -hmm. raising the rest of the funds. It was something, for example, as I was calling on members of the legislature, mm -hmm. we eventually did receive two and a half million dollars from the state Excellent. of Michigan. Um, <clears throat> Uh, to, to, to mention to them saying we already have uh, a believer in ACC who ended up this much money mm -hmm. and uh, simply uh, to, to uh, demonstrate the credibility that we have for a business leader in our community. Right. I could hear uh, him say yes, uh, some well, of our tax monies are coming back. That's yes, great, great that's job. Great. <laughs> yes. And your point about investment, uh, he was an investor in investing in the lives of students who will be trained in this yes. facility investing in the electrical power companies and cooperatives mm -hmm. that serve all of us, that build up the economy of Michigan. Uh, we have a lot of data that ACC's really biggest contribution to the well-being of our service area is in the training and in the value of that training as yes. people go forward into jobs, real careers, and uh, practice and apply what they've learned at ACC. That's our, that's our biggest contribution far in excess of what we might spend, uh, for example, on supplies and equipment, mm -hmm. uh, local uh, businesses, or uh, the money that our employees spend in the community. Wow. That's our real investment. And Absolutely. become people. a big part of that. Yeah, that's wonderful. And then I saw the brochure that came out a couple days ago. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> join us with the celebration. But inside of that, I was looking and I thought, wow, this really completes the vision of what the college has. And that is to recognize in local and global communities, be recognized as that is premier, the premier resource and first choice for exceptional, affordable, and innovative education. And certainly you've done that with this program that you have with the Power Center coming in. And then whatever, what also impressed me was the numbers of people that were participating in this, the number of donors, and all the people that it took to bring this about. He would have been overwhelmed and just humbled. Hundreds and hundreds of people joined him exactly. in making this possible. Yes, it was a community effort, totally. And uh, with the Board of Trustees, with the Foundation, and also the College Board, and all the other people that participated in fundraising, etc. I mean, uh, he would be forever thankful and grateful to every individual that participated in this to help make his dream, his goal, and his vision come true. And right. you certainly have done that in five-star color. Well, thank you so much, Margie, for uh, your kind comments. Uh, and, and for representing the family in uh, this matter and for being my guest on the program this morning. Thank you for the opportunity. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye. This has been Talk of the Town with Nancy Smith and Dr. Owen Joyton. For a list of events taking place in Northeast Michigan, visit our website at www.wbkb11.com and click on Community. You know how to see this. This has been a Thunder Bay Broadcasting Corporation. Okay, did that go all right? Yeah. Good.